what's up welcome to my youtube page at mv it is 11 45 p.m on october 23rd 2020 i'm here outside in the backyard relaxing chilling um <clears throat> Enjoying the weather because it's pretty windy and chill right now, which is a nice, a nice thing to experience here in Laredo, where it's often hot, humid, and just fucking horrible overall. I wanted to talk for a little bit, vent some, but um, not really in the mood for bitching right now. Like, I guess I'm starting to reach that level within myself where I'm, I'm not trying to, you know, vent or cry as much as I used to. Like, I don't cry nearly as much as I used to and that's not because I don't have those feelings of you know like I need to cry and let it out on the contrary I have them and I think that I'm just stuffing them down deeper in me but um it's strategic it's not it's not permanent it's just temporary until I can have my own two feet well enough established into the ground that I don't have to worry about going out there and getting lost and not being able to find my way back home. I want a home, a place to call my own, to call my, my space, my safe haven. I don't really have that. I've never really had that, to be honest. I mean, I've always had a roof over my head. Don't get me wrong. But there were different roofs throughout my entire life. Including when I was younger. So I've never really had, like, sense of of home except for my grandparents house in in McFarland but that's it's different now too so <laughs> it was mostly home because it was a place where all my family could go you know un What's it called? Un... Like, where everyone was basically just welcome all the time. Even if you were, you know, if my grandparents were in a fight with one of their kids or whatever, they were always still welcome. It's not like they weren't, you know. They just would fight sometimes like everybody else, you know. But it was always... Place I could call home.
<coughs> right now I live at at my fiance's mother's house, which she says is gonna be ours. So she tries to make it like it's home already, but it doesn't really feel that way, you know. Like you can't really feel at home somewhere where you don't have free reign to make the space around you as comforting as you want it to be for yourself, whatever that means, whatever it means to you. You know, if you don't have that free reign to do that, then it's it's not really home. It's just a temporary living space. Temporary living space. <sighs> I just want our business to be successful already, like to that degree where we're just where we where we have like so many people employed not just here but like all over the world like i want us to be at that level already because i feel in my heart that we are going to get there eventually but you know it takes time obviously but we're getting there we're getting we're starting to get more orders already now that we are able to take on the work because I honestly believe in the law of attraction and I believe that the universe sends you what you need when you need it and doesn't send it when you don't need it yet or when you shouldn't have it yet for whatever reason and I believe that I've made, actually, I've made a video on this, like, four or five years ago. It's called Why I'm Not a Millionaire. <laughs> I fucking busted my head open in that video, like, right before I made it. And I just, I felt inclined to make it at that moment. But I was all full of blood and everything. And I just did it without, like, cleaning myself. I'm all bloody and shit. But, um... Yeah, basically I'm just talking about how I know I can be a millionaire at this point in my life already if I wanted to. I could be more than that. I could have been. But I'm, I'm not for several reasons. The most important one being that I'm not ready. I haven't been ready yet mentally and emotionally to be able to take on the responsibility of being at that level of financial success because like people there's so many people out there they shouldn't be millionaires they shouldn't have money and they're the reason like the bigger reason why this world is all fucked up because they have you know the power and resources to act out on their egoic self self-centered self-interested personal agendas that have some most of the time a lot of times have negative ramifications on the other people in the world around them and you know they don't give a fuck because they're 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 not in the mindset of of helping or others or you know being altruistic or you know caring in any way so they don't they all they care about is their own success and their money and that's you know that's why they're millionaires because they put their minds their mindsets and onto that goal and if in anybody regardless of who you are you know regardless even of what your level of intellect is if you have the desire to become something to do something and you set your mind to it you just focus on that idea and you just see yourself there regardless of everything else all the other obstacles in your way you'll 
you'll find a way to do it. The universe will make it happen for you. It will bring the opportunities your way. And you will overcome whatever obstacles you need to in order to get to that level. So, you know, you have a lot of people that have pushed down their emotional traumas unwillingly. Unlike myself right now who's doing it willingly, purposefully, for strategic reasons. You have people that are doing it, you know, unconsciously, and they don't even know it. And they're out there with all this power, all these these resources, these financial resources, and they, you know, they could be doing good with it, but they're just not because their mindset's not there. And I know that if I were at that point in my life back then, if I would have, you know, been a millionaire, I probably would have been one of those people that's, you know, just self-interested and self-centered and just too angry about things to really you know take the steps that I need to take in order to really help the planet evolve and move past this level of primal ridiculous evolution that we're stuck in right now so many things I want to say I just I can't find a way to say them right can't find a way to say them the way I mean them feelings